Hey guys, it's Katie from HeyKatie.net and today I wanted to talk to you about bespoking your bullet journal. Uh, what I mean by that is making it your own and I have some really great examples of ways to do that. Uh, and I think the most, uh, e the easiest way to make a bullet journal all the way yours is to change the cover up. Uh, it's the first thing you're gonna see. It's the thing that's gonna make you happy to use your bullet journal. If you're looking at it and it's something that you like looking at, then that's a really good thing. It's also gonna be a way to distinguish yours from anyone else's. Now, right now you can go on Amazon or elsewhere and you can buy any manner of brands of bullet journal. There's Lookturn, there's Nuna, there's Essentials, there's Dot Grids, there's Graph Grids, there's Plain, Lined, any type of notebook that you can think about, you can buy. But there's not always a great selection for the covers. Now, Look Term and others come in a variety of colors. Um, they're usually solid color. Um, there's pinks and blues and greens and black and white. Any of the rainbow colors that you can find, you can buy. Uh, Nuna is doing some really cool graphic cover art. Um, I really like them, but none of them are really me. So I've held off on buying them. As much as I like the notebooks themselves, the actual covers kind of put me off. Now, you might remember from a previous uh, blog post that I did that I actually covered my Nuna. And how I did that, uh, this is it. How I did this was I used Mod Podge and some fabric. Uh, the original cover, as you can see from the inside, it was bright orange. It was white leather with bright orange graphics of yes and no on the front and back. And I hated it. I, it's not my style but I love Nuna notebooks. I think they are they are absolutely 100% my favorite uh, bullet journaling notebook or notebook in general. They're just so amazing. The paper quality is great, the grid is great, um, the size, everything about it is amazing, except the cover. Uh, if you can find one and they have so many to choose from, um, that's your style, then buy it. But if you're like me and you just wanna change it up, then this is a great option for doing that. All I did with this is I took some Mod Podge and I Mod Podge the entire front and back of it and I just put a piece of fabric and smoothed it out and Mod Podged over it. And then I took some gold duct tape and I just folded it over the outer edge to make sure that it, the fabric didn't come up at any point because with this getting a lot of use, it's very likely that it would have, the edges would have frayed and started to come up and I didn't want that to happen. <clears throat> so. That brings me to my, that's my first way of bespoking it, uh, which is fabric and Mod Podge. My second way is the way I first did it, and that is painting. Now, this is a sort of tricky one. Um, as you can see, this was my first ever bullet journal, and I painted the cover. I didn't like the black, so I just painted it with some uh, craft paint. I did a, um, I, I took a picture that I had already drawn, which was a woman's silhouette, and I kind of transferred it onto the cover with some carbon paper so that I could see a faint outline. And then I colored it in with paint. This did not work great. As you can see, um, it doesn't give the best coverage, and then anytime you scratch it or use it, you kind of wipe the paint off. And that's not the greatest. Um, so that didn't work out so well. Uh, and I've learned from my mistakes since then. Another awesome way uh, that you can bespoke your cover is by using contact paper. Now you can buy this at Michael's or other craft stores. This was a dollar for this roll. And what it is, is it's just like, you can find it in all sorts of different patterns and it's just a giant sticker. Um, it comes in a roll and it's rather a lot of um, paper. It's about three or four feet of it. Um, and it's just, like I said, a giant sticker. You peel off the backing and it's sticky and you can use it for shelf liner, you can use it for any number of things, but I found it's really cool to use to cover your bullet journal. Uh, and this is my, um, oh, what's it called, my Uberworks notebook that I just showed in a video recently. Uh, it's the white one, which I wasn't that fussed about, I didn't like it so much. So I took this contact paper and I just used it like a giant sticker over the front and back. I cut out a little bit around the elastic so that it would work really well. And I'm really, I like it a lot better than I did the white. This is going to be a blogging notebook, so it's kind of fun and graphical and I enjoy it. And then the final way that you can bespoke your, um, your journal, and that is pretty much the same way as I showed you with the fabric. And I'm gonna have a full blog post about this on my blog. Uh, and that is Mod Podge again, and something that I found at the dollar store. And that is paper doilies. 
This was just, it came in a pack of 10 for a dollar. And these are for like lining a cupcake tray or a cake pan just to make it look prettier. It's just, it's literally made of paper. So it's really rippable. Um, you can cut out, you know, smaller pattern in the middle or whatever. But I found that this is really great for putting over a bullet journal, especially if you have a plain black one. The black and white really kind of makes it pop. So that's what I've done with this one. This is my um, Rhodia notebook. And I literally just took some Mod Podge and put it on the, the front and back. And then I placed the doily over it and Mod Podged over it and let it dry. And it's so cool. Look at this. Is this not brilliant? I love it so much. Um, it's I'm much more likely to use it now. Uh, the other thing with this is that when you're doing something like this, you could color uh, the paper. I you know if you used ink or um, alcohol markers or even Crayolas, whatever you want, you can do all sorts of different patterns on this and make it really colorful and fun, and then Mod Podge it. And I I guarantee it will be something really amazing and that no one else will have because this is yours and it should definitely um it should show who you are i really like this and i think um part of me really likes it and i thought about doing this which is painting each of these they kind of look like clocks and i'm getting a very doctor who vibe from it and it reminds me of kind of uh the peter capaldi <laughs> um doctor who with the it's kind of clockwork or um steampunkish so if i painted this the right way it could actually give that very big vibe um, but right now I just like it as it is. I like the black and white. It's completely smooth. This isn't going to pull up. It's Mod Podge down really well. So it's a really cool thing to do. And you can do this with anything. You could get your kids to draw um, a picture or something on paper and then just Mod Podge it to the front or around it or whatever you want. I really think this is my favorite bullet journal so far and it's completely empty right now. So I get to add whatever I want to it. And that is like the best feeling in the world is having a brand new Bujo that you can do whatever you want with. And I'm thinking I might make this one for my collections without day-to-day -day bullet journaling, just absolutely 100% collections. That's kind of what I'm really going for right now. So we shall see. But check out my blog. There's, like I said, there will be a whole blog post on this and uh, that'll be at heykatie.net. I'll put the link below. Uh, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and check me out on social media. I'm at heykatieblog everywhere. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.